All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tragic Life here. We just finished uh, Yang's thing, and I, uh, Yang's story arc. Um, and I was going to go ahead and do his, catch his red dragons and uh, go through his optional course like I did the first two. But I've decided I'm going to go back and do all of them later. I'm going to go back through Seodor's Rydia's. I'm not going all the way through, but I'm going to do all the hunting of Seodor's and Rydia's as well as Yang's Red Dragon Hunt. Um, but I'm also going to do all the optional courses at the end of the game so I can build my characters up before up. Just so that it's all kind of get together. Otherwise it's going to get a little bit confusing. So having said that, we're going to go after Palem's tail now. He has a very long ponytail. They just ain't biting, Captain. Shh, stop whining. He'll hear you. Look, Captain, how much longer do we have to keep putting up with that rat? Which rat would that be? I, I apologize for my crew's insolence, Lord Pelham. Lord, you know, you're at least several decades older than me. Did you forget... In, in that case, what would you like me to call you? Figure it out for yourself, why don't you? You're a grown man, right? Uh, yes. So quit bowing and scraping. You're too old for that act. H how dare you speak to the captain like that? The fish, huh? You guys catching it yet? I, uh, uh, no, not yet. We... Are you guys even trying? Is it really that hard? These waters hold a bounty of fish coming up empty like this is unheard of. Excuses, excuses. Just give me something fresh, okay? We got a long voyage ahead. Okay, our character's kind of rude. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have taken this job. You called from the Elder? Where is Palom? I apologize, Elder. I'll go fetch him immediately. I'm right here. Palom, where have you been? What? Am I supposed to report every little detail of my life to you? So he's just rude to everybody. So what did you need, Elder? I received a request from a certain foreign nation. A request? Another prayer job for some country trying to palm its problems off on another's? No doubt. How? I'll let you handle this one, Perone. By the way, Elder, you have, have you made your decision yet? About the sage training you brought up? That's the one. You are still not ready yet, pal. Still, when will you actually think I'm ready, Elder? Hello. So what's this request about? This nation wishes us to send a mage in order to train their epochs. I would be happy to handle this request, Elder. Thank you, but I've decided to send Palom this time. What? Isn't it normally Palom's job to train epochs, Elder? It will be your task this time, Palom. But what use would it be to send me? I don't know a thing about white magic. What use would you be, be depends entirely on you, Palom. Feel like he's being taught a lesson. You know, Beauty and the Beast thing. Guess it's nighttime already. And just look at that boom. Ow. It's getting closer and closer.
Okay, the Mage's Voyage. Elder, why did you send Palom instead of me? Hmm, there are some things only he is capable of, I believe. And what's more, uh, Elder, I am fine. Good morning, did you sleep well? Are we there yet? I'm I'm afraid not. Why don't you take a walk around the deck though? I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Torah is a beautiful land blessed with clear water and lush forest. Apparently a large city, city fell under monster attack recently. Saw a following star in the northern sky, but I have a bad feeling about it. You have no idea how excited I am to see you. I mean, it's the famous Black Mage himself. <laughs> Captain. Captain? Yes? I seem to remember you convincing me that this trip would take no more than a week. Yes? And how long has it been since we departed from the city? About a month now, I suppose. I guess there's nothing much I can say, given that our compass is broken. That it, that it is, sir. But you're all supposed to be sailors, aren't you? More or less. Then shouldn't you rather do something to navigate us through this? I mean, come on. I'm, I'm sorry about this, my lord. Wait up. Wait, up ahead, look. I'm not falling for that again, Captain. There it is, the Cape of Troy. I am so sorry that it took this long, my lord. Aren't we still quite a, way, a ways from Troya? If you cross the western bridge and go north of there, you'll find a forest with chocobos. You can cross the, you can then cross the river on a chocobo, and you'll arrive in Troy in no time. Fair enough. Please be careful, my lord. Is that all? I I am truly regretful for the delay. How, you don't have to kiss up to me like that. How old are you again? So sorry. Well, see you later. Farewell, my lord. Do they just celebrate? Are they going to sail away? All right. <laughs> we seem to be a little bit rude, but I kind of get it. Like, if, if it was supposed to be a week and it took a month, I'd be unhappy as well. Even though I'm a pretty nice guy, I think. Okay, so we're at the Troy Cape. Head west and then north. Oh, what the hell? Hell divers. Okay, so I need to use magic. Got it. He's a magic user. We're gonna use magic. So we're gonna use fire on all of you. Goodbye, guys. All right. Continue this way. We're looking for a chocobo horse. It's probably. All right, we got a floating eye now. I feel like we fought one of these, but it's been a while. So we're going to hit everybody with fire again. <clears throat> All right. I need to cross a bridge, maybe?
fights have been three goblins and uh, a needle rat or whatever they're called. Is it this one maybe? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. It said go west and then north and I'm very confused by that because I felt like that's what I did. So give me a second. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. So it's right here. Alright, so let's see. Okay, that's awesome that you did that. So we'll grab one of these yellow chocobos. Follow the river to the north. I think that's probably there. Can I cross the river? I can. Okay, so... Alright, so... First thing, we're going to obviously go looting. Head into the pond to the right. How do I do that? Not right there. Okay. Let's swim up the river. When you service when you serve when you service head into the trees. Number of black chocobos has really plummeted lately. I'm sorry to hear that. Right there. We have a decoy. Oh, there's more than a decoy. There's more in here. So there's a decoy, there's an either. A thousand gill. And a dry either. Is that everything? One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, visit the northern house. Okay, so northernmost house, northeast. So, this one? Okay. The chocobo stable. Inspect the chocobo. Okay, and it leads us downstairs to the chocobo pen. Cool. Uh, enter the right wall. Excuse me. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do? Hold on. Right wall to find the paths that lead across around the room to the left and up into the chocobo pen. Give me a second, I've got to figure this out. Alright, welcome back, I found it. So, I'm more here looking through this area here, it's not here. You go into the wall and go down. And then you can go all the way around. And you can enter the pit. So we need to talk to her. Why don't you say hello to everyone? Now you want to talk to each one. Which can be hard because they they quite move it. This one, come here, and that one. All right, now we'll talk to her. Okay, thanks for saying hello, you got an either. Yep, we came down here for an either. 
that's what happens when you're a perfectionist. You gotta, gotta, you gotta get it all. All right. Okay. Yay, we got it either. So now we're gonna head to the castle. That's everything in this area. Let me out. Um, okay, thank you. I don't have time for this. Okay. Well, I guess I'm curious. What do you got weapon-wise? Nothing great. Okay, that's why it told me not. it didn't worry in my head about that. Though. Same with armor. Got it. All right, we're going to go to the castle now. Yay! And all that. I went back into the town because, oops. This might be the first video in a while. Well, I don't have to uh, edit anything out, and you're going to get just a video of me walking around doing stuff. In the main hall, take the right path and follow it to a room. Follow it to a room with three staircases. Down the center is a high potion. Okay, high potion. Down the right stairs is a switch four times. Okay. All right, potion, potion, cool. Antidote, let me guess. Oh, Echo Herb's already switched up on me. Look at that. Gold Needle, Maiden's Kiss, 300 Gill, and a Phoenix Down. Cool. The left stairs has nothing. Alright. Now we're going to go talk to the Apopos. Get out of my... Oh, I trapped her. Okay. Thank you for coming to Troya. It must have been a long journey. That isn't the half of it. I'm sure you're aware of the reason why we have requested the Elder Masidia to send you here. You pop training, right? So who, who will I be working with? You okay? Oh, I thought you made a noise. I thought a Troy had all eight EPOP positions filled. One of our group is falling ill, I'm afraid. The Apops of Troya cannot fully carry out their carry out the role unless all eight of us are, are of us serve as one. Huh. So basically, you need a new Epop and fast. Exactly. See, the talented mage of Mysidia has a very sharp mind indeed. So, who will it be? Please enter Lenora. Yeah, this one is definitely in need of some training. What? Did I offend you? No. Lenora arrived in Troy about eight years ago. She immediately showed interest in joining the EPOPs and has distinguished herself in the service ever since. In recognition of her talents, we wanted to nominate her a vacant position. All right, all right, enough introduction. If she was that talented, then why would she need training in the first place? How can you say you have talent if you can't even become an EPOP without someone drilling things into you? Well, you see. Besides, isn't it your job to train this girl? You. You are being rude. The EPOPs are busy conducting their daily business. And, and with one of their number falling ill, there are only seven of them to serve their nation. Nature. Okay, okay, okay. I, don't, I didn't need a man manifesto. But are you sure I'm the man you want? An EPOP's e job is a server crystal, right? Wouldn't you want her to be trained in white magic instead? You've got the wrong person here if you expect me to know any white magic. What? He really should have sent for Rome to handle this. No, 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 it's all right. Yeah? White magic or black magic, both can, be, both can provide me with the spiritual training I need. I am sure the elder of Mesidia had a plan of his own in mind when he sent you. Looks like it. 
Then, Lord Palum, we hereby request you accompany Leonora to the Tower of Trials. The Tower of Trials? It lies south of here. If Leonora can reach its top floor, we will then ordain her as an epopped. It will be done. I look forward to training with you, Lord Palum. Epop Lenora has joined the party. Uh, I have to agree. Um, this character, Paloma, has become very rude. I actually really don't know if I like his character. Um, hopefully he'll have a story arch and he'll be good. Uh, but let's talk about Lenora. Um, she's a pupil for most of the game. Uh, da, 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 da. She's respectful, but grows to not care for his attitude. I mean, who would? She's a pretty flat character, mostly defined... I don't care about any of that. I, I want to know. Okay, she knows white magic. When she joins us and will eventually come to wield black magic. Her magic, black magic pool is limited, but still good, and she'll eventually get flare in the agas. However, she doesn't get meteor, bio, quake, and misses a lot of the status throws. White magic, however, she learns it all. This makes Leonora very versatile. She's the only character to learn both types of magic. However, aside from the doll, she has the lowest HP of any party MP, and her MP isn't that impressive either. But that's okay on its own. Where Leonora really falls apart is that she learns her spells much, much slower than everyone else. She learned Kiraga at 45 when Rosa already knows Kiraga, um, as per and Perome is about to learn it, and doesn't learn the Aga spells until level 78, by which time every other mage knows all their spells. So she's only effective if you level her up to level 80. Otherwise, the other mages are superior. This is absolutely crippling to her, and in my opinion, makes her useless. Until after the end of the game when you start grinding for the optional super boss. The other patients level grind that much. Go ahead and use her in your party, but I don't... You, you probably won't. Uh, when it comes to bands, she has decent. She has a decent variety of them. So I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Um, and we're going to dive deeper into this as we move forward. I've only got one more video that I need to do for you guys. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, this, uh, this is going to be coming out on the 27th of September. It is, it is, I don't know why I said that. That's a month from now, exactly. So it's going to be a while. Uh, I got one more and I'll have September covered for Final Fantasy. And then I'm going to start knocking out the eight videos I need to do for Pokemon. And then I'll start doing the football video soon and I'll try to make sure that I'm able to do all of them. It's, this is going to be a challenge but I'm up for it. I hope some of y'all watch this. I seem to be getting a buzz. Let's get it, let's get it hotter. Um, so until next time, adios amigos.